Hey guys, we're gonna do a bit of a video on connecting rods. Uh, so this will be go any B series Cummins. Something that you want to check if you're if you're rebuilding an engine, you're checking stuff out. You want to check this. Um, I did touch base a little bit on it when I in the 12 valve rebuild series. Um, I'll probably link this video in that series as well, just so uh, go a little bit more depth into it. So, anyways, both of these are cracked rods. So you're not going to find these in a 12 valve. That's a common rail thing. Unless it's been rebuilt and had cracked rods put in it, which is possible. We do see it once in a while. Usually you're going to be, I, I shouldn't say always, but a lot of the crankshafts are going to be um, blind hole to camshaft. So this hole is going to face camshaft. So something you want to do when you're, when you're pulling your connecting rods out is what we do is, I don't know if I have a piston sitting on the floor here. Here, uh, we use this one. This is not a Cummins one, but so what we do, so this is going to be blind hold the camshaft. Now this connecting rod and this connecting rod, you can see the difference. Um, you can see the difference there. Like this webbing is different. So that's something that you want to watch to make sure that you're putting the right rod and the right, you, you don't want to mix numbers up. But, so the characteristics is something that's different on these rods. These rods you would look, you would think, okay, as long as I'm putting this part number in with this part number, you're good. But this rod actually goes this way. Yeah, so it goes through hole to camshaft is what this one does. So you wanna watch when, you, when you're pulling this stuff apart, you wanna watch. Now I do have a sheet which gives us part numbers and stuff. And I'm gonna try to link, um, I'm gonna try to link this stuff um, in down uh, subscription, but the information that I've got is from a, a program that I pay for so I have to I have to check with them first So as long as I'm allowed I will link it in the the description uh, in the next couple of weeks um, but something that we, we, we do when we're doing them is We take the, the piston so this is uh, from a little fee six that we're working on but what we do is now with a, a Cummins usually what I do um, well, common rail anyway, but what we do is we haven't take, gotten ready to take these apart yet, but so what we do is we actually mark it T for tang. So tang is where your bearing tangs are and we mark it on the piston. So when we take them apart, you can quickly reference, okay, piston goes this way. And with these pistons, um, some pistons it makes a difference and some it doesn't um, but most pistons are what there is a direction so there'll be a front or two camshaft depending on what the what the application is but so that's what we recommend doing um, when you're taking the stuff apart especially if you're not doing it constantly so you don't know numbers and that type of stuff is just when you before you pull your rods out just you know reference where your tang is reference where your tang is Mark it on your piston, do it on all of them. Um, if you're not reusing the pistons, you know, you could scribe it in there, I guess, if you wanted. Or you could even scribe it in here, even if you are reusing them. Just put a mark so you know which way Tang was. Um, and then you never have to worry about mixing it up, right? Providing somebody else has put it together, right? But like I said, I will, I'll try to reference it in the, in the paperwork, uh, or with the paperwork. Like I said, I just need to touch base with the company that I got the info from for make sure I'm not breaking any rules or something. So anyways, um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I just wanna to touch base on it. I'm gonna put this in, in all of the links so that this is something that you do need to know. We've run into that before because if they are put in wrong, um, the, the engine will vibrate violently. Um, and you'll have all kinds of weird issues. So anyways, um, like, subscribe, comments, hit me down below and we'll catch you on the next ones.